And so we're actually missing an opportunity to learn from our assumptions, which is why it's like, I'm recognizing that I'm angry here. Mm -hmm. And I think that that person meant to sabotage me. But before I say that assumption out loud, (laughs) maybe I'll just say like, hey, you said that during the workshop. (laughs) Why did you choose that time, right? All right, let, let's get into the seven forms. I want to uh, go through it and we'll, we'll probably pick a couple and go a, a little bit into them. So procedure, punctuality, information, candor, consideration, acknowledgement, and attention. So if you're looking to build your respect muscles and to be able to show people respect, and I'm going to go say receive respect as well, that mm-hmm. these are the seven forms that Julie talks about. When we talk about candor, when does it become a point where someone's just crossed the line and go, no, that's just me. Like, so being open and clear in feedback is great, but when is it just being, no, you're using a license for candor to actually be a jerk? So I think we usually, I think that structure of getting, of giving feedback is, hey, this is how I feel. And then the other person has to kind of just they hear how you feel and they have to deal with your feelings. <laughs> and it, and so what I encourage people to do is this is how I feel. And then to ask a question about that. So yes, in terms of your question, like can people cross a line? It depends on if they're doing it on purpose or not. And you don't know until you ask. I, I actually, with assumptions, I know a lot of people think, oh, we have to not have assumptions. I, my approach to assumptions is let's get curious about them. Uh... Let's ask because assumptions are just, they're fascinating because there are le- they're this lens through which we see the world and assumptions are personal. Yeah. They're deeply personal. And and so just by sharing what our assumptions are, we can actually learn so much about ourselves and about one another. And um we talk about assumptions in a very shameful way. We don't get to learn from them. Yeah. And so we're actually missing an opportunity to learn from our assumptions, which is why it's like I'm recognizing that I'm angry here Mm. and I think that that person meant to sabotage me. But before I say that assumption out loud, (laughs) maybe I'll just say like, hey, you said that during the workshop. (laughs) Why did you choose that time? Right. And just I'm like recognizing I'm angry. Yeah. But before I like voice my assumption, I'm just going to ask a question. So one form of respect is procedure. Tell us. Yes, this is this is about following rules. Okay. This is about following instructions. And yeah. like preparing for a meeting as you were asked to prepare for it. Right. Hey everyone, it's Mick Spears from the Leadership Project, where we empower leaders with all of the knowledge and skills that they need to create amazing teams and amazing workspaces. If you're liking today's video, please don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and the notification bell. Back to the show. Information. Why is information a form of respect? So this is about access to uh, uh, data and intelligence. So what it looks like in the workplace is I'm going to copy you on emails, even though you don't need to be on that email. I'm going to invite you to meetings that you don't need to be at. I'm going to give you access to information. And for some people, they love that. And for other people, it's like, I only want information on a need to know basis. So for me, for example, this is a low priority for me. If I had my choice, I would only give information on a need to know basis. And yet my team's like, we want information. (laughs) And so I actually have to flex for the greater good of the team. So Uh, with consideration, um, it's anticipating what someone wants and needs and interacting with them based on that. So it's just like, I assume I'm thinking that this person, I want to protect this person. Mm. And so I'm not going to give them this information. And the thing is, and this kind of goes back to it's relative because some people like it and some people don't. And so, you know, for you, you just like, I want that information. And for someone else, just like, I don't want to know. I want the decision to be made. I don't need to know all of the stuff. I just want to know when a decision really? has been made. If Because sometimes also for some people, it's like, why are you giving me this information if I actually have no decision making power in it? Yeah. So once right? you're taking that- Or sometimes people use information to, well, I gave you access to information. So I told you. And so actually there can be the overwhelm of information, which can sometimes people feel like you're absolving yourself. The leadership is absolving themselves of responsibility by saying that they gave people information, but there's no way 
you can process all of that information. So I just share this as there's always, a, I really think a flip side to both. All right, final one, attention. Tell us about attention. That's just listening attentively. That is just, that's putting away the distractions, especially now, it's just, are you putting away, are you not multitasking? Are you, and it's also um, uh, interrupting. So for some people, interrupting is a lack of attention. It's rude, right? And other people, it's just like, oh, this is just the flow of the conversation. We are just brainstorming together. And so again, it goes back to some people, it's an important form to give. And for others, it's, um, uh, it's, it's not. When I worked at that tech company, attention was super low. People multitasked all the time. It was actually considered a sign of performance. Hmm. Interesting. To be able to multitask was a sign of performance. And so it's really important for companies to say, this is, these are the ones that we care about and these are the ones we don't care about. And to be kind of unapologetic about that, because I think sometimes when people go in and she's like, oh, I want to work here. Okay, well, we're fast paced and we're innovative. But what we really should be asking is how do you behave? How do you behave with one another? Because maybe for some people like, phew, I don't have to, like I, I, I do multitask and I'm gonna feel okay being in a place where it's okay to multitask versus, oh my gosh, this is not gonna work for me then. I'm gonna constantly feel like they don't care about me and they do care. They just, multitasking is part of their performance. Mm. It's, and so again, it goes back to, I, one of the misconceptions about the forms of respect that I always have to clarify is it's not about getting all seven and the more that you prefer doesn't mean the more respectful you are. It's actually about understanding and being able to explain why you care about what you care about. Hey everyone, it's Mick Spears from The Leadership Project where we empower leaders with the knowledge and skills that they need to create amazing teams and amazing workspaces. If you're enjoying our content, please do remember to hit like, subscribe and that little notification bell so that you can be notified of all of our future videos. In the meantime, please do take care, look out for each other and join us on this journey as we learn together and lead together.